SST, an open source tool that actually makes it fun to build full stack web applications with AWS. The problem with Amazon Web Services is that it has too many web services, and putting them all together in a unified package can be extremely complicated. SST fixes this for web developers by representing backend infrastructure as code, TypeScript code, making it possible to integrate features like S3 storage buckets, Lambda functions with API gateway, databases like RDS and DynamoDB, Cognito user authentication, along with many other features without ever touching touching the AWS console, and it has built-in deployment support for frameworks like Next.js, Astro, and SvelteKit. Once initialized, it provides a variety of simple constructs that represent infrastructure declaratively. Under the hood, this code is based on Amazon's Cloud Development Kit and Cloud Formation. These constructs are grouped together in stacks, which can be deployed together or run locally with the SST dev command. It provides a local development environment with live reloading, and provides a web-based console to manage your stack, minus the typical AWS pain points. To get started, you'll need the AWS CLI with credentials set up locally. Next, run the npx create sst command to drop in a deployment solution to your favorite framework, or initialize it as a standalone project. This will scaffold a monorepo, and the packages directory is where you write the code to power the backend. Inside here, we can write serverless functions in TypeScript that are powered by AWS Lambda and use API Gateway as the front door. To see it in action, run the dev command, and that will automatically deploy the required resources to the cloud, as we can see here on the AWS console. What's really cool though is that we now have a local development environment, and if we go and change the code in the function, it's immediately reflected in the cloud. In addition, it spins up the local SST console, where you can view logs and manage your stacks. A stack is where you define your infrastructure as code. In the stacks directory, we have an API that can map URLs to Lambda functions. Pretty simple, but we can expand on this by adding an event bus, which is able to trigger Lambda functions based on different events that happen in the background, like when a new database record is created. From there, we can enable file uploads by adding the bucket construct to the stack. While we're at it, we might add a Postgres database with RDS and add the auth construct to enable user authentication. And we can even define cron jobs here that run on a schedule and point to a specific Lambda function. And finally, when the stack is complete, we can add it to the SST config file, then deploy it to the cloud with a single command. This has been SST in 100 seconds. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.